it's that idea of I needing a house for a room for everybody is not is it is just not necessary. You know, but it's it's you know whatever that house is. Once I said once, you know, well, what if I stop working? You said, oh, what if I stop working? You know, and she said, I says, you know, she feels like we can talk to you about this. You know, you can advise me on how to because you've been doing things and doing business or whatever. But but just you know, I said, what if I don't work for you? What if I don't make that much money? Then you stay in an apartment until until I've made more money so you can get a bigger house. What does my house say? And she said, well, it will be really good thing to have an $800,000 mortgage. You know, and it's just, you know, it's just that kind of, I, I just, I just want for her to be able to, you know, I don't want this to ruin our relationship. And I don't want it to be this thing where, you know, we, we, we go out to do something or to dinner or to go shopping or to do, and, you know, or, or, or her coming out to visit and, you know, or not buying something for herself. Or and I said to her, you know, do you understand? I said, you know, I'm and I go, you know, we have to remind ourselves sometimes when, you know, we come to your place and you talk, you talk about, you know, look at this boss that's dripping, this thing. You know, we think about mom in this place. And it's very hard for us to think of getting a house or nice cars or if we think of getting a place or that you have no new clothes. Opposing, you know, he said, you know, we should be thrilled to keep it going the week. That makes a sad. This is making you miserable. We're not buying you clothes. We're making you miserable. We're making you miserable. We're making you miserable. We're making you miserable. We're